Asus VivoBook is a lineup that tries to find the best price-to-quality ratio. Today, we have the new S15 OLED. And while we thought that we were reviewing a budget-oriented laptop, it turned out that this model packs quite the punch while delivering a display that everyone can appreciate, regardless of what you want to do with it. You can choose between a stylish black, neutral gray, or fresh green color. But the most important thing here is that it is well-built, with an aluminum lid and a plastic base. The base has an antimicrobial coating, which is nice, considering what the last two years have put us through. It implements an active ingredient to stop bacteria from surviving on it. In terms of dimensions, it is thin and light, weighing 1.8 kilos and with a profile of 18.9 millimeters. It looks good, and the little branding is a key element of that. Opening the lid, we find the keyboard with comfortable key pitch, dished caps, and decent key travel. The feedback is clicky, and we also get an optional backlight, so we're happy with this unit. Plus, there are configurations with a fingerprint reader hidden in the power button. And if you're going to use the laptop as an office device, you'd be happy to see that there are a lot of ports on its sides, given the thin chassis. On the left, you'll find a USB 2.0 port, which is suitable for peripherals, but on the right, we see a 3.5mm audio jack, two USB Type-C's for faster data transfer, another full-sized USB, and an HDMI port supporting external 4K screens. However, the internal one is stealing the show, or the 2.8K OLED option in particular. It is super smooth with its 120Hz refresh rate, and it has an infinite contrast ratio thanks to the OLED technology. The max brightness of 400 nits is pretty high, plus it covers 100% of the sRGB and even the ultra-wide DCI-P3 color gamuts. It's not only good news, as there's a major drawback. There's PWM flickering, which is pretty heavy, up until 95 nits. Our health guard profile makes things better. We'll leave links to purchase them in the description below. ASUS has put a lot of effort into the audio-visual department, as in addition to the Vivid display, we also have Harman Kardon speakers bundled with their AI noise-canceling technology for ambient noise filtering in your meetings. It works two-way, so your partners will hear you better too. Actually, they'll see you better if you turn on real-time 3D noise reduction in the My ASUS app. Check it out! And you can slide the physical shield when the meeting is over. ASUS has missed boasting about the battery life of the M3502 on its website, only stating that it has a big 70 watt hour capacity. Well, they should update it because the S15 OLED went beyond 16 hours on a single charge in our web browsing test, which is more than impressive. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory, thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. You can get the M3502 with three different AMD Ryzen processors. We chose the budget 5600H variant, which is quite good considering that it matches the performance of the Core i7-1255U. The VivoBook S15 isn't a gaming laptop since it's only offered with an integrated GPU, the Radeon RX Vega. However, it's powerful enough for playing games like CSGO with more than 60 FPS on max settings or GTA 5 on high graphics settings and 30 FPS on average. The Ryzen 5 is cooled by two heat pipes and one fan. We also have two heat sinks and a heat spreader on top of the VRMs. The CPU fares decently in the stress test, keeping its clock speed above 3 GHz while maintaining a stable temperature of 92 degrees Celsius. This temperature isn't reflected on the outside, as the base reaches only 37 degrees Celsius. However, the fan does get very noisy during long loads, which isn't ideal. The VivoBook S15 has 8GB of soldered DDR4 memory, along with one SODIMM slot for future upgrades, for up to 24GB of total RAM. The storage is accessible through a single M.2 slot, which fits the modern and fast Gen 4 drives. If you're wondering how to take apart the VivoBook S15 OLED, we'll leave our teardown video in the description. If you're on the hunt for a powerful, stylish and portable laptop that can be everywhere with you even without its charger, the VivoBook S15 is a pretty solid choice. 
the OLED screen, the high-end CPU, and the battery lasting for more than 16 hours are the main advantages of this model. Plus, there are tons of additional optional features, such as the Wi-Fi 6 module, fingerprint reader, and keyboard backlight. All of these features blur the lines between the S15 and high-end business laptops. Have in mind that even though the CPU is great, the notebook isn't suitable for heavy tasks like video editing, since the cooling system can't sustain high frequencies. If you want to learn everything there is to know about it, check out our written review, which has a lot more info, straight from Laptop Media Labs.